Hola y bienvenido a Learn Spanish in SpanishDates.com. I'm Paralee Whitmeyer and I'm your teacher. Today you'll be learning about the house and directional vocabulary using the verb estar, like La sala está a la derecha del baño. La silla está en el comedor. Y mucho más. ¡Vámonos! One of the best things about traveling abroad is discovering what different houses can be like there. So let's imagine that you're traveling to Peru or really any Spanish-speaking country this summer. You're on the phone with la dueña, the landlady. She's telling you about the apartment you're going to rent, but since you don't speak a whole lot of Spanish just yet, she tells you about each room, where it's located, and the furniture in each room. She also tells you what you would normally do in each room. Listen for words that you already know, and for cognates, words that sound very similar in Spanish and English, since she's trying to learn a little bit of English too. She's going to ask you, ¿Cómo se dice? and then the name of the room in Spanish, in inglés. This means that she wants you to tell her how to say the name of that room in English, so that she'll know in the future. We'll go room by room. ¿Listo? Primero, hay una sala. En la sala hay un televisor, un sofá y dos lámparas. Ves la tele en la sala. ¿Cómo se dice la sala en inglés? La sala es living room. Bien. Segundo, la cocina. La cocina está a la derecha de la sala. En la cocina hay un lavabo y un microonda. Cocinas la comida en la cocina. ¿Cómo se dice la cocina en inglés? La cocina es kitchen. Bien. Tercero es el dormitorio. El dormitorio está a la derecha de la cocina. En el dormitorio hay una cama, una lámpara y un despertador. Duermes en el dormitorio. ¿Cómo se dice el dormitorio en inglés? El dormitorio es bedroom. Ok. Siguiente, el baño. El baño está entre la cocina y el dormitorio. En el baño hay un lavabo, un espejo y un inodoro. Usas los servicios en el baño. ¿Cómo se dice el baño en inglés? El baño es bathroom. ¡Qué bien! Finalmente es el comedor. El comedor está a la izquierda de la sala. En el comedor hay una mesa, dos sillas y una ventana. Comes las comidas en el comedor. ¿Cómo se dice el comedor en inglés? El comedor es dining room. ¡Qué bien! Ahora, you just heard a ton of vocabulary, but you'll have a chance to practice those later using the flashcards, right? So let's focus on a few other things that we heard in la descripción de su apartamento. La dueña, the landlady, told you where each room was located using certain phrases and the verb estar. Escucha otra vez. La cocina está a la derecha de la sala. The kitchen is to the right of the living room. El baño está entre la cocina y el dormitorio. The bathroom is between the kitchen and the bedroom. El comedor está a la izquierda de la sala. The dining room is to the left of the living room. Which one of those words means right? Derecha. 
Now all you have to do is add a few words right before and right after derecha to mean is to the right of. It's a pretty direct translation. Is, esta, tu, a, vi, la, because derecha is feminine and you can tell because it ends in an A, right? La derecha, and then the word for of is de. Esta a la derecha de means is to the right of. This is really useful when describing locations, right? And do you remember which word means left? This is a weird one. Izquierda. Repite. Izquierda. You might need a little practice with that one. Esta a la izquierda de is to the left of. And last, we have entre. Entre means between. And for between, you don't need de because you wouldn't say between of, right? So esta entre and then whatever it is between. Esta entre la cocina y el baño. It is between the kitchen and the bathroom. Are you ready for your quiz? If el dormitorio means bedroom and la cocina means kitchen, how would you say the bedroom is to the right of the kitchen? El dormitorio está a la derecha de la cocina. El dormitorio está a la derecha de la cocina. Bien, let's try it again using the same vocabulary. Como se dice, the kitchen is to the left of the bedroom. La cocina está a la izquierda del dormitorio. La cocina está a la izquierda del dormitorio. Now, did you notice that when de and el were next to each other, they got together to form a new word, del? This is just like you learned a few lessons ago, where a and el became al. De and el, when you say them quickly, become del anyway. So this is a really important spelling tip. Del and not de el. All right, last one. The bathroom, el baño, is between the bedroom and the kitchen. El baño está entre el dormitorio y la cocina. Que bien! Also, you can describe the location of an item by saying that it is in or on by saying está en and then the location. Escucha y repita. La puerta está en la entrada. The door is in the entryway. La puerta está en la entrada. La lámpara está en la mesa. The lamp is on the table. La lámpara está en la mesa. Las sillas están en el comedor. The chairs are in the dining room. Las sillas están en el comedor. Did you notice that the form of a star changed when the subject was plural? Remember, you learned how to conjugate verbs quite a few lessons back. So remember that the subject always has to match the verb, right? Las sillas están means the chairs are and están is the plural form of estar. Let's try a few more plural locations. Repita. Las escaleras están afuera. The stairs are outside. Las escaleras están afuera.